welcome to another interesting edition of one on one on Coastline TV. Today we have um, a very special man. It's a man that has been working hazardously and tirelessly under the ground in the oil and gas sector. Uh, I'm talking of no one else from the uh, but um, the MD CEO of Solar Oil and Gas Services Limited has been around for quite some time. You know, a well-traveled man and um, someone that is referred to as a person who knows his owners when it comes to the business of oil and gas in Nigeria. Um, I welcome you to this program this afternoon, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, um, briefly, you know, because I know you are a very busy person and um, getting you on this interview today is, uh, I know what I went through before I could get your attention. So, it's been you know, um, going to a year now that Nigeria had uh, the election and the new president sworn in in 2019. Now, how would you rate the performance of the president since his inauguration last year? Well, at the moment, uh, when you want to rate the performance of the current government, you have to look at some things before you do the rating. And I think it is too early to rate the current government performance based on the number of years things have uh, deteriorated, things have gone bad. They can't just come into the, into the power within one year and you expect a, a miracle. So to me, I would say you should give them a little bit time before you can start rating. Because sometimes there are some things you are doing underground. It will take a while before it comes to the limelight or come to the open or before you see the result. But okay, so far, so good. Okay. I okay, okay. so far so good. I think they are they are trying to put the pieces back together. That's all I can say about the rating at the moment. All right, thank you very much. And um, before the election, we know that all the major contestants talking about the president himself, um, former vice president um, Alaji Atikobaka, and uh, the former governor of Anambra State, that is uh, uh, Excellency uh, Peter Obi. You know, all of them. During their campaign, they said they were going to remove subsidy. And uh, on the day of inauguration of the president, they removed the subsidy. Do you think that was a good move? To me, it's a good move. Uh, and it is long overdue. In the sense that um, subsidy on fuel have been a way of enriching a few number of people, Kaba, let me put it that way. I'm not against a subsidy. And there is no how government all over the world, they don't subsidize one item or the other. But subsidy on the fuel and petroleum product in Nigeria, it's a fraud on its own. So I support the move and it's long overdue. All right, thank you very much. I, I like your responses as uh, they are brief. It shows that um, you, you're really a good manager of time. And thank you very much for that, sir. So um, somehow we are hearing rumors that's, that subsidy is still being paid. So in your opinion, if it is true, if the rumors are true, uh, what do you think will be the cause? Because the government has not really made it official that they are still paying subsidy, but somehow we get to understand that they are still paying subsidy. So if it is true, 
What do you think is the cause? What do you think is the reason for government still paying subsidy? Uh, first of all, I don't um, I don't base my own fact, uh, my life on rumor, because uh, anybody can see somewhere and just cook up or anything and target as rumor and put it on the social media. Uh, having said that, um, if truly the government is still paying subsidy secretly, that means the government are not ready for business. Because like I said, I'm not against the subsidy, but there are some set of few individuals that are enriching themselves to the subsidy because they, it can be accounted for. And it's one of the things that is affecting our values, our GDP, our currency. So to me, I want to say that if truly subsidy is still being paid secretly, then that means this government is they are not ready for business.